There's new fallout from a police scandal in the city of Antioch. Today, the mayor announcing several more police officers are on leave for violating policy. Now, they wouldn't give specifics, but the Bay Area News Group reports it's at least eight officers accused of sending or receiving racist and homophobic text messages. That's on top of the eight officers already suspended as part of a probe by the FBI and Contra Costa County DA's office into alleged civil rights violations. Now, there are currently 115 sworn officers on the force, according to the city. Sean Chitness spoke with business owners who worry about the impact to public safety. The businesses we talk to say it just feels like the city can't create a safe place for people to live and work. The restaurant behind me still has damage from the last time someone broke in and stole equipment they never got back. It's not a priority call. We don't have anybody available. We'll get there as soon as possible. Last month, Dwayne Gilliland watched on security cameras as someone broke into Hillcrest Restaurant and Tap House. Police didn't arrive until four hours later. Since then, they've repaired the doors and still have the rock that was used to break in. I don't hold the police responsible because they're so short staffed and they're working with the best resources they have available. But some of the damage still remains and they're trying to get insurance to cover their losses. Over at Muscle Maker Grill, they were one of many businesses hit by thieves at this strip mall. The owner says they got their equipment back, but he still worries about someone else trying to break in. You want to feel safe, you know? You want what do you do in your business? You want to feel safe. Like at your home, it should be the same. You should feel safe. To say that I am outraged is an understatement as it relates to this matter. Antioch Mayor Lamar Thorpe said the city will need to look to outside agencies for help now that more police officers are going on leave. We as a city have every intention of respecting confidentiality and due process. That being said, we're also not going to sweep these matters uh, under the rug as we've done in the past. The latest loss in officers available to patrol the city makes businesses question how long they can survive here. Open your eyes and do what you have to do to get, you know, to get things done, to get people to feel safe. Otherwise, they're all going to move out. But they've built a following with customers, so they want to keep going and support Antioch. Don't get mad about it. You know, there's no reason to get mad. You know, am I disappointed in what's happening? Absolutely. Do I support my city and my community? Absolutely. And we reached out to the police department to see if they have any comment after what the mayor said and to tell us the specific number of officers that will be on leave. We're still waiting to hear back.